I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey. Hello. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Welcome. It's good to see you. Yeah, it is. It's nice. We're having fun. I wish there was a way that we could just get like, like a link to all the people watching. Even though it's not live. People can watch it at any time. It just would be cool to see people watching us. They have all of their faces, every single one. <laughs> if, if only there were a way to do that, just to get everyone like almost in one room, just to see all of them watching us at one time. I think it would be slightly intimidating. In a live manner. You mean um, at, like our live shows? As, almost as if we were on stage, performing for an audience of of like roughly two thousand to three thousand people. Yeah, we we do that all the time. But, like, what if? Like, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but could you... do, do you think? Isn't it, isn't it crazy, right? Yeah, it's... Think about that. It's the fucking best. Those shows are super fun, Me and knows. everyone's happy, Me especially knows. us. Well... We're Did only you... happy because... <laughs> it's like... It's like, we get huge boners. Because it's like being on stage and, like, hearing our own voices it gives us, like, huge boners, dude. Do you think... Maybe this year... Instead of giving me a Christmas bonus, uh, as your employee, you can I give, give me you a, a Christmas boner? That's correct. Well, I, I would hope that I do that every year. Uh... Wait, didn't I already do this? Yeah, I don't know... Oh... <sighs> I just fought the Phoenix guy. Yeah, okay, but you cool. failed. N no, I beat him, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you cleared the stage, but it also said you failed. It said I failed? Didn't you say you were like, I failed? Oh no, I failed to do the, the like the thing at the end, but it, I still beat him. Oh, okay. <coughs> I wasn't paying it. There was like a victory screen and it was like, you did it. Hooray. Gave me the where whatever. Visit Chunan, your next destination. Great, thank you. S thank you, so nice. You go to the Gaia Gate. But I was just there. That's the one that says new. I know, but... Son of a bitch. Well, I already did all the shit that was there, though. Can I open the left door, too? I guess that's what it is. Alright, fine, Chunon, you win. Uh, I'm gonna see you. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with you. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the dough. Okay. The dough, but... Can yeah. I? Oh, I can. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Here you go, Aaron. That's the man, that's the explorer we all know and love. What if at one point he just exploded? Like, he went up to the door and he was just like... I'm gonna open the door for you, that just like I've done many times before. <laughs> and it there's just, just a big it, splatter on an, the wall. Yeah, an Indiana Jones style booby trap that just like <laughs> decapitates him. Shink! Look, see, I'm Sonic. <laughs> You're like, when's the last time I was Sonic? It's fucking right now. All and right, look, at, look at it, I'm in China or something. I'm in some Asian country. Yes. You don't want to be stereotypical or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be China. Right. Chunan seems like a like a Chinese word, doesn't it? It does. Although I've never been able to distinguish the Asian languages from each other. Well, is there like one really like clear telltale thing? Um. Ooh, new music. Yeah, there is. Um. Yeah. Smooth jazz was a strange choice for this game's <laughs> musical palette. <coughs> so Chinese is very um um well it's it's the way that they part of the language is how you say things like inflection. Right. That's why there's like that famous ma sentence. Like you can say oh, ma right. eight times, but they all mean different things because you're like. You're like, mama, 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 like that. I don't, right. I don't know how to say it, but it's, it's because you, like, say it a little different. Your inflection. Whoa. I, 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 just, I did not expect that to be, uh... But Japanese is the opposite. It's like... It's just... You say what you mean. It's phonetic, yeah. So if you say ko, that's always ko. Huh. Yeah. Let me try it again. Nope, didn't work. Love it, looks great. <laughs> so there you go, there's the difference. Yeah! <laughs> um... So, there's a lot of like, bang ju, like that kind of shit in Chinese. And, and in Japanese, it's just like, konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Not a I, love, I love hearing you explain that to this music. Oh, thanks, man. I love doing anything to this music. Fuck him. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, Me mixing stitches. There you go. I put that brick in your face. Now what you gonna do with it? Is that a remix? So, a remix is when you literally remix something. Like, you take the mix and then you change it. But yes. if you're just like writing new shit and putting it over stuff, isn't that a mashup? Uh, no. A, a remix... I guess there are a couple of different ways... To my understanding, I could I could be hazy on this, but to the best of my knowledge, um, so when you have a track, a musical track, you have what are called the stems. Right. So every vocal take is a stem, and every instrument is a stem, and together they form uh, they form the finished song. So when you remix something, you get all those stems, and then you can place them differently, like raise the volume on some, lower the volumes on others, and give the track a much different feel. But additionally to that, you can also add your own stuff. So, like, you can, um, take, like, uh, throw in a keyboard part where there wasn't one, or, like, add your own vocals and, or, or a rap section or something, and that's, that's also called a remix. A mashup is where you take two exi- stems, at least, of two existing songs right. and create a new song out of it. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't realize that it still qualified as a remix if you added shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why like that that confused me when I was younger too. I feel like that I was, should have a different name. Yeah, it's because you're not. Yeah, you're I, not I understand. You're, you're not you're... giving it an alternate mix where you just like use the stems that exist. You're also adding your own spin on yeah. things. Because there's a, there's also remastering. Yes. Which there is no confusion about. You, it's just the same mix, but it's mastered differently. Right. And ma- mastering is just playing. This is a little technical, but it, like it's playing with like the compression of sounds to give it a different <coughs> feel. And, um, yeah, it just it, ma- mastering is something. At least for me, like I can hear, like I can feel the difference more than I can explain it. You know, mm-hmm. you're just like, oh yeah, that's totally different now. It's deeper. Yeah, like a lot of times. Because technology mastering is very based on whatever technology the person doing the mastering has at their disposal. Mm. So um, that's why a lot of albums that were done in the seventies <coughs> or the seventies or the eighties get remastered now, because the mastering technology is so much more um, oh, yeah, advanced. Dude. There's some fucking shitty old masters. And whenever I see like a band I like from the seventies, like whenever I see like a Brothers Johnson, there was a recent remaster of Brothers Johnson mm-hmm. Greatest Hits, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm getting that!" Right? Because it sounds so much better. Oh yeah, it just sounds so full and. Yeah, I mean you can fuck up a master too. Oh yeah, like it's not that hard to fuck up. Um, but uh, you're not gonna remaster. You're not gonna release a remaster that's like worse. Right. If if it's I'm someone sure at that happened. level, like they're they know what they're doing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man. Fucking old school remasters are are mwah. Yeah, it's incredible. It sounds like a, it sounds like it was recorded yesterday, as yeah. opposed to like, like you're listening to it through a tin can. No. Fuck yeah, mission clear. And there's also that weird um. Proud of you. There's also that weird thing about like a certain era of songs, like a lot of Beatles songs, like. Each instrument would be on one channel. So you like, mean mono versus stereo? No, it would be in stereo, but oh. like only the lead guitar would be on the left channel. Right. And like the bass would be on the right channel. Right. Like there are some um there are some bands and some mixers that would do that. They still they still do it. Some, wow, good job. I guess your <laughs> job is not to hit the pot. <coughs> well apparently for a lot of people growing up in that era. Who were interested in getting into music that was actually good because you know there was no internet back then and there were no stems that were released um so that was like the best way for them to learn guitar parts or bass parts was to like isolate damn it nice <laughs> you found the next set of pots and ran yeah. face first into the center <laughs> i'm gonna progressively get further <laughs> and further with each set of pots yep um but yeah, so like a bass player would, would turn on a Beatles song and they'd just isolate the left channel and then they'd be like, oh, now I can just hear the bass and the drums. Yeah, I mean... And it makes it much easier for me to learn the song. Yeah, that's how, when we when we record the, the cover albums, that's usually how I... I mean, it's not they're not always available, but like a lot of times you can find like the isolated vocals online and then uh, 
a yeah, rock band helped a lot with that. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. That, but yeah, um, cause like stuff like um, what's a good example? Like rock, uh, rock with you by um Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like, um, like the I wanna rock with you, like all night. Like two of those harmonies make perfect sense, and you're like, yeah, sure. And then the third harmony is just so fucking weird. But in the context of the other two, it sounds. It sounds perfect. It sounds great, but like I never would have figured it out if I couldn't hear it like isolated. Mm. But that's yeah, yeah. It is cool, and like sometimes they take soundboard recordings off of uh, off of concerts, and like um, you can only hear the person actually actually singing, as opposed to like the um, the backing track or the karaoke track that's going over their singing or that they're lip-syncing to it's fucking it's pretty crazy you're just like whoa she's not singing at all <laughs> yeah Brit Britney Spears some of her isolated vocals are a little rough but I mean like I don't blame her I mean like I couldn't sing and dance like that at the same time she's Britney bitch I, I couldn't agree more you gotta be in shape to do that shit yeah so. My shape is square. And next time on Game Grumps, mm. we're gonna play- we're gonna go to Pickle Lab and talk to Mr. Man again. I'd like that. Me too. Join me, hand in hand. I'll do that. Will you hold my hand while I go see Mr. Pickle? <laughs> Don't ever say that to me. <laughs>